The cosmos we inhabit is not a stagnant entity, but rather an ever-growing expanse. It's like being on an infinite journey with no end in sight. Now let's delve a little deeper, picture the galaxies, those colossal systems of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter. They're not merely suspended in space, static and unchanging. No, they're on the move, continuously drifting apart from one another. It's like they're caught in a cosmic dance, dictated by the rhythm of the universe itself. But what could cause such a monumental phenomenon? What grand cosmic force propels these galaxies, causing them to recede from each other? What drives this ceaseless expansion of the universe? The answer lies in an elegant yet profound principle, a cornerstone of cosmology. This leads us to an important law that governs our universe, Hubble's Law. Hubble's Law, named after Edwin Hubble, is a simple yet profound principle. A cornerstone in the field of cosmology, it's our key to understanding the universe, its origins, and its fate. So, what exactly is this law? Let's break it down. Hubble's law is the statement that the speed at which a galaxy moves away from us increases with its distance. In other words, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it's moving away from us. Now this might sound a bit counterintuitive. So, let's use an analogy to make it clearer. Imagine a balloon. On this balloon we've drawn a bunch of dots. Each dot represents a galaxy and we, here on Earth, are at one of these dots. Now as we begin to inflate the balloon, what happens? All the dots start to move away from each other. The dots that are farther away from us move faster than the ones close by. This is because the space between the dots is expanding, just like the universe is expanding. So, if you're a dot on that balloon, it would seem like all other dots are moving away from you. And the farther a dot is, the faster it seems to move away. That's Hubble's law in action. It's not that the galaxies themselves are speeding through space. Instead, it's the space itself that's expanding, carrying galaxies along with it. But here's the kicker. Hubble's law applies to all galaxies, no matter where they are. This means that from the perspective of any galaxy, it would seem like all other galaxies are moving away from it. This gives us a rather humbling realization. There's no center of the universe. Every galaxy is experiencing the same thing. In essence, the farther a galaxy is, the faster it's moving away from us. So next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember that those twinkling stars are part of galaxies that are moving away from us carried by the ceaseless expansion of the universe. Let's delve deeper into the key elements of Hubble's law. The first of these is the concept of redshift. Now I want you to think of light as a wave, moving through the universe. When sources of light move away from us, these waves stretch out or shift towards the red end of the light spectrum. This is what we call redshift. The more the light is redshifted, the faster the source is moving away from us. This redshift helps us measure the speed at which galaxies are hurtling away from our own. But that's not all, it also gives us a clue about how far away these galaxies are. The farther a galaxy, the more its light has been redshifted. So, redshift is a tool that lets us measure both the speed and distance of galaxies. Now, onto the second key element of Hubble's law, the Hubble constant. This is the value that relates a galaxy's speed to its distance from us. It's named after Edwin Hubble, who first proposed this relationship back in the 1920s. The Hubble constant has been refined over time, but it remains a fundamental factor in our understanding of the universe. It's like a cosmic speedometer, telling us how fast the universe is expanding. The higher the Hubble constant, the faster the universe is growing. But it's not just about how speedy the universe is. The Hubble constant also gives us an estimate of the universe's age by using it to calculate how long it's taken galaxies to reach their current distances. We can estimate how old the universe is. So, to unpack that, Hubble's law, through the concepts of redshift and the Hubble constant, allows us to measure the speed and distance of galaxies. And these measurements help us understand the scale and age of the universe. So, you see, we're not just looking up at the stars. We're reading the story of the cosmos itself. Hubble's law has far-reaching implications for our understanding of the universe. This statement rings true in more ways than one. For starters, Hubble's law forms the backbone of the Big Bang Theory. You see, if galaxies are moving away from us and from each other, then it stands to reason that at some point in the past, all matter must have been condensed into a single point. This concept, known as the singularity, is the cornerstone of the Big Bang Theory. But Hubble's law doesn't stop there. It also led us to the concept of an expanding universe. The law tells us that the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it is moving away from us. 
This implies that the universe is not static, as was previously thought, but is, in fact, expanding. This idea was revolutionary, shattering our previous conceptions about the nature of the cosmos. Now you might be wondering how can we know the universe is expanding if we can't see it happening? Well, it's not as though we can watch the universe grow in real time, but we can observe the redshift of distant galaxies, which is a direct result of this cosmic expansion. The redshift is a phenomenon where the light from a receding object appears more red than it actually is due to the stretching of light waves. So, the more distant a galaxy is, the greater its redshift, and the faster it is moving away from us. Finally, Hubble's law helps us estimate the age of the universe. By calculating the rate of the universe's expansion, we can essentially rewind the universe back to its beginning. This gives us an estimate of around 13.8 billion years, give or take a few hundred million. Hubble's law has truly revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. It has pushed the boundaries of our knowledge, challenging us to rethink our place in the universe and ponder the mysteries that still remain. So, what does all this mean for us, living in this ever-expanding universe? When we take a step back and consider Hubble's law, it presents us with a profound philosophical quandary. It challenges our understanding of our place in the cosmos, compelling us to rethink how we perceive ourselves and our surroundings. The notion of an expanding universe suggests that we are not at the center of everything, contrary to what our human-centric perspective might lead us to believe. We are but one tiny speck in a vast cosmic canvas that is constantly spreading out, growing larger and creating more room for the unknown. Imagine for a moment that we are akin to tiny grains of sand on an infinite beach, each grain representing a galaxy. As the universe expands, the beach grows and the grains move farther apart. It's a humbling concept, isn't it? That we are not the focal point, but rather a small part of a grand, ever-changing cosmic spectacle. Yet, it's this very realization that underscores our significance in the universe. While we may be small in the grand scheme of things, our ability to comprehend these cosmic truths to understand the universe and our place within it is nothing short of remarkable.